हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द फोर्टी एथ एपिसोड ऑफ जुमला टू पॉइंट फाइव कस्टम कॉम्पोनेंट डेवलपमेंट सीरीज इन द प्रीवियस एपिसोड आई हैव एक्सप्लेन हाउ टू क्रिएट सब कंट्रोलर इन योर कॉम्पोनेंट इन दिस एपिसोड आई विल एक्सप्लेन हाउ टू क्रिएट जुमला टूल बार ओके सो व्हाट आर द जुमला टूल बार सो लेट्स लॉग इन टू द बैक एंड नो इफ आई सिलेक्ट एनी कॉम्पोनेंट लेट से दिस वन सो डैशबोर्ड प्लेयर now if, here you can see a lot of icons like publish and publish delete edit new so how we will create this icon and when somebody will click on that particular icon we will call our function or our php code if someone click new then we will display the form he then we can display like this save apply and cancel okay so let's start so uh, as usual we will work with our existing component that is open chat so here we can see the toolbar is not present so we will add the toolbar slowly okay so there are lots of different different toolbars like new edit publish unpublish even you can create your custom one in the future episode i will show you how to create the custom toolbar icon okay so in this episode i will show you how to create the basic toolbar icons and in the next episode i will show you how to attach uh, uh like your event like when somebody somebody will click um, on your toolbar icon you will execute your code so let's start so let's log in um open your sublime text or editor any editor and this is my project here you can see components inside components our component is com underscore open chat okay so here if we go to the chat history view so here you can see the task equal to chat history okay so actually we are calling this uh, task so we will make create all the icons in this controller okay and also we have created views uh, so if i open the chats so let's open the view chats view so view equal to chats so we can see our so in this view also we can add controller so i will um toolbar so i will show both like uh, how to add icons in the controller as well as how to add in the view so let's uh, start with the view one okay so chats view this one in this open this file that is view.html.php and here we can add the toolbar so um, how we will add using this uh, helper class so j toolbar helper okay so now i will add new toolbar so j toolbar helper now here we have to call that method so at like we have called the title to display this title here you can see so now we will add new okay so let's um, refresh this page now if i refresh i can see the new okay so in this way you can create different different toolbar icon so slowly slowly i will create and in the next episode i will attach our function so that when somebody will click on the new we can execute our code so i am expressing different different toolbar icon so new for like this one and um, like edit list because um, edit list so this will bring the edit so let's go to the back end and refresh this one so here you can see the edit one and same like uh, you want publish list publish list okay toolbar helper that is unpublish unpublish list and um, let's refresh this back end and check so here you can see the publish unpublish okay now add few more like uh, archive list archive list toolbar helper trash delete list okay so let's refresh this page now um okay some error probably here i have forgot the semicolon save this and refresh so here we can see now uh, like basically we can uh, divide this into different different group like add edit one group 
like we can add divider also so how we will add divider so let's say put a head divider so j toolbar helper divider okay so this will put a divider so let's refresh this page so here you can see the divider bar okay like this one and publish unpublish this will belongs to one group and rest okay here and also we can uh, like preference uh, so if you go to good components like uh, let's say this one here you can see the option one where we are um, will save all our configuration sections in the future episode I will explain this one so for now we will add just uh, the icon so to uh, add this kind of icon like J toolbar hel helper preference so P R E N C E S preferences preferences so save and refresh this page so we can see this icon but if I click nothing is hap uh, happening because we have to add some code later I will explain this one okay so uh, we can uh, add one like a divider here save and refresh this page so here you can see and also you can do like uh, here you can create easily one function add toolbar okay now you can copy this your codes all these codes here okay and now you can call this like dollar this add toolbar okay so in this way also it's working so in this way you can add different different toolbar um, to your component so same things uh, if you want to add this in the controller so let's go to our chat history so here we can see nothing so we can attach this so let's copy this one and go to the controller so which controller is calling chat history okay here you can see that um, toolbar helper web added so remove this line and save and refresh this one so here you can see all the toolbar icon came so in this way you can add your toolbar any position controller as well as view thanks for watching um, this tutorial if you have any question suggestion please write comment below this video and please subscribe to my channel thank you have a good day